In this specific demo, we want to go ahead and configure a VM for monitoring and logging. Now, what I'm going to do is because this is one of those redundant objectives, we also do this in section five as well. But basically what we want to do here is just understand a few things before we proceed. Now, a stack driver, if we go over here down to um, basically stack driver, stack driver we should likely know is a portfolio of basically network monitoring related features and functions however it's more than just that originally it was stack driver monitoring and then basically google bought the company and now it's google stack driver and as part of this we have a lot more features and functions as part of the solution and, and again, we call these features or basically different uh, capabilities of stack driver, whatever you want to look at it as. But basically, if we go to monitoring, this is going to go ahead and pick up my workspace that I might have had available earlier. If I didn't have a workspace earlier, then it would basically have me state what project I want to select and it would import that information from Stackdriver. Now we go down here, we could see that we have metrics already running for our virtual machines. And again, we could see that it's a GCE, that's Google Compute Engine. And if we go here, we could see that um, the different VMs are showing up. Now what we want to realize, if, if we need enhanced metrics, we have to install Stackdriver agents. So if we go over here, um, this sort of tells you more about uh, what it's going to collect. So for example, um, the, the stack driver monitoring software will pick up that your VM's available online, etc. But if we need to collect specific detailed information and metrics around like disk, CPU, network, and processes, then we want to configure the monitoring agent. And configuring the monitoring agent is actually relatively simple. We simply log in and basically we just copy this and it does it for us. And that's all we have to do. And then Stackdriver will be able to pick up everything. Now, we will need to configure metrics and alerts and other areas um, that we may want to monitor. Uh, notifications is another one as well. But basically, this is really all we have to do. So let's go back to the virtual machines. I'm going to go ahead and select one of these. I'm going to go uh, basically here, view the gcloud command. I want to copy it. Now you could run it in Cloud Shell, or you'd run it in the SDK, whatever you want to do. In this case here, I'm going to go ahead and paste it in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, log in this way. You can see there that it says that the host key is not cached locally. I'm going to go ahead and go yes. And now I am logged in. What I want to do now is I need to go back to Stackdriver. And if we go back here to the agent, I simply copy this. So the purpose of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and copy the monitoring agent. When we get to the Stackdriver, part of the course. We're going to cover this again a couple times. So I'll hold off on doing the logging agent, but I did want to at least do one of these. And again, just make sure we copy that. And now what I want to do is go back to my um, basically instance window here. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that. Go ahead and let that run. You can see it's installing the agent. And I'm going to go ahead and expand that because I know that might be a little bit small. And once we view this, you'll see how easy it is to get this installed. And again, that pretty much what it did is unpack that zip file. And uh, basically, we're good to go. It says here, installation has completed successfully. That's all we need to do on our end. And then what we want to do is go back to Stackdriver and we could start configuring those advanced metrics, like, for example, CPU utilization uh, or memory allocation. These are some things we could look at, uh, and we're going to cover that much more in detail 
in the stack driver part of the course and that is mainly going to be what is called a section 5 and that section is called managing application performance monitoring and that's really all stack driver so let's go ahead and move on to the next module